this is a wise owl to come out to and see where I live. Sometimes to facilitate my uh, studying the, uh, and memorizing the uh, periodic table and the atomic number, I sometimes use names that I'm, that, uh, that I'm always familiar with, that I know people around me and I can, and I can remember the periodic table and the, and, the, and the atomic number of the element. For example, I have a friend named Bob, B-O-B. He comes around the house once in a while and and um, and everything. So I know that Bob is B, capital B, capital O, and capital B. Okay? Now B is for boron, B-O-R-O-N, and oxygen for O, for oxygen. O-X-Y-G-E-N, and boron again, B-O-R-O-N, B-O-R-A-N. Now I know that B Boron is five, atomically speaking, number. Oxygen is eight, and boron is five. So when I see my friend Bob or talk to my friend Bob, by the way, I know that, that he's a five, eight, five. You see, this is the way we can remember the uh, periodic table. You use people around you. Maybe you may have, you have a brother named Bob. You know what I'm saying? Um, or a friend named Bob. Or your, or your name might be Bob. Or your father's name might be Bob. But you can use that. Also, Al. Al. Like Albert, Al. Capital A and a small L. Capital A and a small L. And that's, and that's aluminum. And that's a 13. So if you, have, if, you have, if you have a friend named Al. Hello, Al. A-L. Al. I have an accent. Forgive me. I, I, I'm trying to pronounce it. Al. Uh, Al. Like Albert. Hey, Al. How are you doing? And you know it's a 13. So Bob is a 585. And Al. Al is a... Uh, Thirteen. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna throw out uh, these cards again, but with different names, okay? In the future, so you can understand how to memorize the periodic the periodic table by association with people. All right. This is why it's out too. Come out too from the see where I live. Have a good night and a good day. Bye bye.